Here we are from Palm's uh, front parking lot, in case you don't uh, know that's where I am. This is Laurie, Pastor Laurie from my car. I have a first thing to do today as I get into work and that's to make a video uh, for you. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, sometimes when I get to work, there's three, four things and a couple of people waiting for me and I forget the first thing I was supposed to do. So I'm going to do it before I even go in. <clears throat> I've got something to show you here in my car. Uh, but it, I'll have to get there. So hold on for a minute. I was going to show you a few things about my car. Which might tell you a few things about me. And about the time we live in. I've got, I've got some Sharpies here. Because you don't know when we need that. I've got cards. A stash of cards. Because sometimes I uh, write cards to y'all. Um, while I'm thinking about it, sitting in my car, I've got tissues. Look, I've got a glove. In case. <laughs> I've got about a hundred business cards. Um, we used to leave business cards when we could visit people in the hospital. And that's my stash of business cards. Here, look, this is a, a Christmas ornament that didn't quite get given to someone. And a hair appointment reminder card. Uh, I got some cough drops. I've got... Um, some old memorabilia from the drip lighter in Black Mountain. That's where Montreat is. We were there right before Christmas. You can see I've done some car eating and drinking. Um, I got a banana peel down there. These are some goodies for some of the Palm staff that I'm going to take in and give them. Uh, I, <laughs> I got some sage in case we need to do a smudging of someone's new house and my sunglasses are way far over there, so I really can't even reach them. And some receipts I need to turn in. That's the coffee list. Oh, wait, here's my driver's license. Back when I used to have dark hair. Some of y'all remember that. I did used to have dark hair. Um, some on-sale coffee grounds. Um, a couple of masks made, I think these were made by Holly Jollis. Visiting Sawgrass, a parking sticker. But this is what I wanted to show you. Let me get there. Uh, this actually wasn't my star. This was a star of someone in my family's and it sat around our house all year. And this is a little what happened in 2020 if you sat around all our house one year. Um, I don't know if a cat got to this or I'm not sure what happened. But that it says trust and it's a little bit uh, beaten up in and from the year 2020, I thought, was a little bit telling. Um, as we move towards Epiphany and Star Sunday, uh, it's clear we could use um, <laughs> we could use some shoring up, right? Um, and while we'll each receive a star this Sunday, either virtually we'll have a way that you can receive it virtually, uh, and we'll have a way that uh and, and we'll pass them out to people that pre-register and are worshiping with us here in person but uh we'll we'll each get our own star but we're going to talk a, a good bit about a, about the star and following the star and having one um central focus and that's the 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 love and providential care in God through Jesus Christ, and we'll still sing Christmas hymns, and we'll still have our tree up, uh, and we'll still have our beautiful blue Christmas pyramids up, because we need the season to last just a little longer this year. We need to be a little more gentler, and we need our stars to be uh, not chewed up and bright. Uh, we need our trust to hold firm. So, I'll see you on worship in Sunday, either in person or even more of you by live feed until we see each other face to face.